So I'm here with a patient today, and uh, we'll leave his name out. But uh, he had some adverse side effects to Ozempic. Now this is a compounded Ozempic, the first time we've ever used a compounded Ozempic on a patient that I got from a compounding pharmacy. And it's a compounded Ozempic with vitamin B6. So I gave him a half of a milligram dose of this compounded Ozempic. So tell me about your experience with the half milligram dose. So um, the half milligram dose in about maybe about two hours, I started um, this belching, this gas, um, just constant belching gas, gas, gas. And I was like, oh, that's that strange. But then um, I think I remember you saying that you had some patients that have had that reaction before, so I was okay with that. I actually had that reaction before. Oh, okay. So when I was taking the Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, it didn't happen right away. It actually happened at around week three, week four. I noticed belching and I noticed uh, it being very sulfurous, very garlicky, maybe because I do eat a lot of garlic and mm -hmm. onions. It just tasted really nasty every time I belched. Did you have any garlic or onions? No, no, I didn't have that. It was just a lot of it, a lot of gas. So, um, and then after about three or four hours, I noticed um, a headache and then nausea. So I had the headache and nausea um, and for a long time and um, maybe, uh, I don't know, a whole day. But then after a whole day, then I talked to you and you said it's probably maybe your blood sugar is a little low. And um, and I, I my doctor years and years ago told me that I was borderline hypoglycemic. So that could be very, uh, that could be the thing. So I, I started drinking honey um, in my tea and the headache went away and the nausea subsided. So it sounded like it was more related to my uh, glucose levels yeah. were low. Definitely, if you drank tea with honey you increased your blood sugar levels and your headaches went away, then it was definitely probably a low blood sugar moment at the time. Yeah, so that was the second day and um, and uh, so I kept drinking the tea every four to five hours mm -hmm. uh, with, with honey in it and it, it subsided the, the nausea and the headache. So um, I was good with that then. So I knew what the fix was, so I would just, and, however, I was not, I really didn't want to eat. I kind of forced myself to eat. I had no, I, and I did not even want to see food. Now this is day three for you from the shot. How do you feel today? Fine. I have no problems. I still don't want to eat. <laughs> I really don't want to eat. I have to force myself to eat. And when I do eat, the portions are so small. And when they brought out my food at the, at the restaurant last night, I looked at it and all I thought to myself was, that's impossible for me to eat. Um, and I ate, I don't know, maybe five or six bites, and I was done. It was a taco salad. It was a taco salad, yeah. Five or six bites, and, and that was it. And I, I was completely full. Okay. So I took the same dose as you, same time. And what I realized is that the compounded Ozempic that I used was definitely less strong than the 2.5 milligrams of Manjaro that I had used in the past. So the half a milligram of Ozempic was definitely less strong than the 2.5 milligrams of Manjaro for me. I actually still felt hungry after taking the Ozempic. Whereas the Manjaro, I didn't feel hungry at all and I had to remember to eat. But I also noticed that after I ate, I got full fairly quickly, but I did notice that I ate more than what I normally did with the Manjaro. So for me, I felt like the compounded Ozempic 0.5 milligrams was weaker than the, I mean, than the Manjaro 2.5 milligrams. But for you, it's like super strong. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine taking a stronger dose. You would go crazy. Yeah. Oh, I meant to also mention that um, I usually drink coffee like three or four cups a day. Um, coffee I found repulsive. Yeah. <laughs> and you love coffee. I love coffee. Yeah. I couldn't stand to drink it. So the funny thing is when I started taking the Manjaro, coffee actually didn't taste right to me. Mm. 
It didn't taste flavorful, it didn't taste rich, it just tasted really bland. Mm. What's your reaction to the coffee? I did not like the taste of it at all. I had the coffee there, I made it, you know, all those, the way I make it, the nice cream and the little uh, stevia and stuff. So I, I, I started drinking it and I thought, oh my gosh, this just tastes awful. Mm. And I couldn't get down even a fourth of, of the cup of coffee, I just, I just poured it down the drain. So here you have someone with side effects from <clears throat> the Ozempic, 0.5 milligrams, and someone who really didn't have any side effects except for that belching like three weeks later, which I didn't associate with Manjaro because it came three weeks later. So mm -hmm. just so you know, those side effects can happen three weeks later, four weeks later, as opposed to immediately right away as well. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different on these medications. And you probably lost in what, four days, three days? How much have you lost? Almost four pounds. <laughs> Almost four pounds because you're not able to eat right. much at all. Mm -hmm. And one of the solutions was actually also to drink tea with honey to increase his blood sugar levels. So if you are starting to have any headaches with the Ozempic or Manjaro, have some tea with a little honey, and that will help those headaches to go away quicker too. Now you have a history of migraine headaches. I do. Okay. And so you, you're probably more prone to it probably, than others. Probably, yes. I agree. Than mm -hmm. usual. Thank you so much for joining us today. So um, we'll keep you in touch, and we may have some more interviews with other patients later on. This is Dr. Phil Nguyen with Happy Clinic. If you want to reach out to me and book an appointment, feel free to do so. The information is there at the bottom. Take care. Bye-bye.